What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the New Age Firefox EXR, or their Chameleon version. So, this is another repaint. Yes, I know, I've been getting all of these, but this is the Chameleon paint repaint. You can kind of see it on camera. I, I, I hope it's coming across, but it's sort of got this sheen to it that allows it to change colors so it's a little it's white but it's obviously you know a little bit of teal and purple and green depending on the angle and how your eye catches the light but it's really cool it's this shiny fully painted all the way through everything you see is painted and that is different from the original version the original version was basically a white plastic with some red accents and some silver accents the other thing they changed is they've got some metallic red here with this gunmetal inside. That was a unique detail I missed the first time through. Feet are fully painted. The backpack is fully painted in this red. And then you got this metallic blue here for the cockpit. Now for his articulation, it is the same, but things are a little bit tighter now. So the fact that it's fully painted, some of the joints have just, the tolerance is a little bit better. But it goes up to there, down to there, rotates around. Shoulders rotate around. On this joint here, they are definitely tighter than before. You get the arms up to there. This shoulder pad can move independently. Rotate at the bicep. Single joint elbow, but due to this piece moving out of the way, you can get it a little past 90 degrees. It is a very tight joint, by the way. Probably due to the paint. I haven't had any paint scraping or scratching yet, but I haven't transformed it yet. Rotation at the wrist. Single pin for the hands. You have a rotation here at the waist, ab crunch, gets you all the way down to there. I'd be careful with the paint right here because it will actually scrape there, so just you have a little bit of caution there. There's a sharp point in here that actually will scratch that crotch piece, so just be careful, but you can get ab crunch and rotation. Legs rotate up to there with the hip skirt. I love the way they did that. Back all the way to there, out to the side with a hip skirt there as well. Rotation of the thigh around universal. Double judge and knee. Gets you the full bend. Nice tight ankles now. So these are tight this direction and they're tight this direction. So I like that. And for size comparison, there it is next to the New Age David, the original Optimus, and the original Firefox. And I wanted to spend a few minutes here um, comparing these two guys so you can kind of tell the difference. But coming in close... There are some new accents and details on this one that are different. So number one, the eyes are metallic blue here. The original is just a painted blue. It looks good, it's just different. The body obviously fully painted in that chameleon paint. This one is basically a white plastic. It's a good looking white plastic, but it's unpainted. They both have their painted red stripe here, here, and here, and same for this guy. They both have the silver here on the intakes, same over here. Coming down to the bottom, you have the painted silver for the knees, whereas the original is unpainted, it's just white. Nice little accent there. Coming to the side, I mentioned already, it's got the little silver accent inside that leg piece, whereas this one's just the painted red. Coming to the back, the new one has the metallic blue backpack, whereas this one has got the kind of a lighter blue. And then the entire backpack itself is actually painted in red on the new one, whereas this one is just red plastic. I believe the white stripe is painted on both. They both have the kind of die cast looking rear thrusters. Actually, I think they are die cast on both. So and they're painted in that silver. And the legs pretty much the same on the back there. As far as the guns, since they fell out, I'll uh, show them. So the new one is painted in this gunmetal with little silver accents. The original is just flat black or flat gray plastic, no paint on it. So you do get quite a bit of new extra paint on this guy, little accents and details. And it's a premium paint, it's really well done. So there you go for comparison. All right, for one more comparison, there it is next to Fans Choice Phoenix X version, their fully painted version. It's very hard to get capture on camera the actual look of the paint. It just looks like white plastic. But I assure you, this one is different from the original Fanstoys Phoenix. Just on camera, it's very hard to capture. But this guy really 
tries to emulate or seems to be very similar in terms of the way this guy looks, other than the fact that it has this chameleon look to it. It's fully painted. It's got the metallic looking feet. The gun is fully painted. And the fact that it has the metallic here on the side of the legs matches with that. So if you're wondering what to expect, it looks a lot like the Fanix, Fans Toys Phoenix X minus the chameleon paint. Okay, now let's get this guy into his jet mode. And again, since we've looked at this already on this channel, I'm just going to simply fast forward through the transformation here. You can still see me do it, but it's not going to take a lot of your time. So let's go. Here's Firefox EXR in jet mode and gorgeous looking. I'll bring in the original just so you can compare, but there is some new paint on here. You have the painted intakes here, here, a little bit of detail here on the side. I mentioned this already, but you got the silver paint inside the red here on the sides. Nicely painted engines here with that kind of the faded, you know, look there. That looks really cool. Love how that came out. And they kind of copied Fans Toys a little bit. They, their X version also has these faded engines. Here's the back. You just got the silver for the feet. Bottom, got that same blue painted cockpit on the bottom, which is Cartoon Agri, by the way. That's why that's there. But yeah, all in all, very, very good looking. You can still fold in these landing gear. Um, these ones tend to stay up a little bit better than the original. I wish they had a locking point, and I wish the wheels rolled. Um, but they don't fall down, so that's good. And of course you can still open the cockpit and see the seats in there. I don't have anything small enough to fit in there, but there you go. And there it is next to the original Firefox, the standard version. And you can see there is a little bit of added paint here. So on the EXR you have paint here and here. It's white on this one. Coming to the side here, you can see the engines obviously. They are painted in this metallic or gunmetal, but this just looks a lot cooler. On the back, pretty much the same. No changes there. The side here on the backpack has a little bit of silver right there. The original is just done in this white. So, little details here and there in the jet mode that do stand out as different. Kind of cool. The final recommendations on the New Age Firefox EXR. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. I mean, this is such a good figure. If I was a Legends reviewer slash collector, I don't really collect a lot. I only collect stuff that I really like, like this guy. And this guy has to be in your top three from last year, from 2022. The original version came out in 2022. These repaints are starting to come at the beginning of 23. But, I mean, this is such a phenomenal figure. The way they did this, the design of it is really good. Now, they've added all this paint and detail. It's really good. I mean, I just, I have no complaints. Everything's nice and tight. Everything works well. It poses well. It looks beautiful. Uh, yeah, really no complaints. I think the only thing I would want is alternate face. They gave you the same face that we had in the original. And while it's fine... It'd be nice to have different heads, head sculpts or face sculpts so that we could differentiate them uh, between each other. Uh, but that's it. That's my minor gripe with this thing. I definitely love this thing. I might be partial because I'm a big Jetfire fan, Skyfire fan. But this is definitely the best Legend scale Skyfire out there, period. 
So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.